Hello and welcome, Taurus. This is your weekly tarot reading. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, bringing you the vibe for the week. And this reading is going to be for February 12th all the way to February 18th. We got Valentine's Day. We're just coming out of a new moon. We got a lot of energy popping. I'm sure you all can feel it. I'm sure everybody can feel it, especially the fixed signs, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. They're really feeling it. But it's challenging us. So let's see what is going to be up for this week, shall we, Taurus? Thank you all for being here. Cards are ready. <clears throat> and let's begin. All right. Wow. This is major stuff. Again, major stuff. Major stuff. Wow. Wow. Okay, we got the Six of Swords, Temperance, the Hierophant, and the Sun. So, um, there, there are th three major cards here, so this is a big deal. And what is going on here is the Six of Wands is indicating for this week that you are moving on from a, a different way of thinking. You're moving towards something that is a little bit more divinely... Um, aligned for you, I guess. I think you are moving towards alignment. I mean, look at all this energy you have available to you this week. So your thoughts can no longer, some of the thoughts that you carry with you from the past, your beliefs, anything like that, cannot go with you on this journey that you're about to embark on. So you've got to release some of those negative patterns, beliefs, thinking, that kind of thing. And just know that in divine timing is at work here. And we have to look at the balance of things. I think for this week, it's a focus on balance instead of imbalance. And you have to trust that the universe is bringing you to where you need to go. That's a big one, is have faith. The sun does not ask permission to shine, it just does. And that's what you need to do this week. This is also Leo confidence. This is the Leo card. The sun, Leo is ruled by the sun. So you could be dealing with a Leo also. Again, it's the fixed signs that may be coming into play here. But what this looks like overall is that you're moving on to a new way of thinking that brings you more spiritually in tune with yourself. And your self-confidence is key for this week. Self-confidence is key for you this week. Solar plexus energy. Okay. Let's get some clarifiers because, you know, four cards just isn't enough. It could be. But if y'all like me, you want to know, you know, <laughs> what's more? Give me more. And I'm sure you, Tauruses love more, more, more. So, all right, let's get some, oof, what the hell's going on here? Hmm. Hmm, feeling a little bit confusion, which way to go. All right, for some of you, that way of thinking no longer serves you. So trust in the universe. It's a, it's a big thing. Trust in the universe. Trust in yourself that you make good decisions. And you're doing it for the, better, the benefit of you, not so much other people. All right. Um, that card went flying. Hold on, Taurus. All right, sorry about that. Okay, let's see what the clarifier's got to say. Mm. Interesting. Man, Taurus, your readings have been something else. What the hell's going on? Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so we're moving on from this moment that we had. This was probably last week, this tower moment. You know, uh, you're not paying attention, so the universe goes, you know what, kid, we're going to rattle the cage. Um, you got some decisions to make. Which decision are you going to make to move forward? You know what I mean? Um, quiet contemplation, the hermit, is kind of figuring this out on their own. The king of cups is getting in tune with your emotions, getting a handle on that, trusting your intuition, and faring the, the, the stormy seas. You got this. There's the idea of you got this, okay? Then you have the strength card, signaling again the Leo issue here, the confidence. 
And then it's, it's about a relationship or one coming in. So, looks like you're open to a lot, Taurus. Looks like you're open to a lot, but let go of what's happened in the past. Choose a higher path for you. Know where you're going in this. Trust your intuition. Have that self-confidence to bring you towards this union, towards this relationship, towards a better understanding. All right? Let's get some psychic tarot and see what they have to say. The plot thickens. All right. See how all those clarifiers kind of built off the other ones? I love that. I love that. I love how it tells the story. That it's going to take a lot of self-confidence, a lot of courage, a lot of strength on your part to overcome whatever is happening for you this week. Wow, Jesus, what the hell? Taurus, what is going on here? Wow. All right. Um, I, I, I firmly believe with the temperance and the hero fan here that you really need to double down on your spiritual strength. This is about something inside of you that needs to come out. You have to open up your heart. That's key for this week. Open up your heart. Why? <laughs> because whatever it is right now is in a holding pattern. Again, it's the temperance card. It's divine timing. It's already there. You just have to align to it. And then, I mean, you've got the spiritual union and the harmony card. We've got the lover's card again. There's something here about a significant relationship, partnership, something like that. Something that has your confidence wavered, but I'm telling you, you need to get that in line. Then we have financial and material changes. So things are changing fast here. It's just in a holding pattern. A material harvest, a lot of nines, nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. Pay attention to that. That's, that's almost getting to the finish line. That's wish fulfillment. So hang in there. Some of you may be waiting on information about money or something like that. And everything comes together. But there's a huge focus on relationships here of all kinds. It seems like Taurus, every, every, every reading I've done for you this year has been about relationships and a significant relationship and coming together and knowing that every, I mean, I don't know if you're having problems with a relationship right now or something, but it's really telling you to, to trust here. And some of your thinking just doesn't serve you. You know, I don't know. Oh, wow. Look at that. The heart chakra again. God damn. Open your heart. I said this in one of the readings before when we had this kind of issue. It's like, open your heart like Madonna in 87, you know? You just got to do that, you know? <laughs> I mean, you got to open your heart to this beautiful relationship. And there may be some teaching involved. There's a spiritual lesson involved here. Let go of the past. Let go of the past. And all you really have to do is just blossom. In time, things will. In divine timing. So you have to understand that. All right, let's get to the love because, I mean, this is just love, love, love. This is this is a Valentine's Day reading. If I ever saw one, this could be the potential of one. So if you have a shitty, if you always have a shitty Valentine's Day, that's what you need to let go of. You know, are there expectations or something like that? You know, got to pay attention. <laughs> got to pay attention. You know, I don't know. It always seemed like, I always had shitty Valentine's days. You know, it just seemed like we argued a lot more. <laughs> it was ridiculous. It was toxic from the get-go. But anyway, yeah, Six of Swords, again, is showing that you're moving on, maybe in a different relationship. Maybe this has taught you something. Maybe this has taught you something. It, I, I think it's taught you a, a few things. Number one is that if you put in the work, it pays off. Okay, number one. Number two is that with the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, it's kind of showing that you deserve better. I mean, you're the Empress. That's the ruler right there, Venus of your sign. You know, you may be understanding that I need more security. I mean, Tauruses are all about security. 
So if a relationship doesn't make you feel secure, you know, open up to one that will. There's going to be a message coming through here. It could be you declaring the message or someone coming in with a message about this relationship. And this is the chariot success. Pay attention to 666. That's not a horrible number. It's about harmony. But there's a lot of sixes here. You know, there's a lot of nines. It's like you're you're moving through this manifestation phase in this relationship and you're moving towards it. I got a feeling a lot of Tauruses are letting go of their bullshit, opening their heart and allowing love to flow in. But it's all about self-confidence. It's all about self-confidence for you. All right, let's get one more message of message of love. There we go. Decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. A lot of you are deciding it is, you know, a lot of things have happened is do, do I need to make a decision to walk away? Do I need to open up to something better? Am I've been single for so long that I'm finally ready to move on and open up to a relationship. I mean, either way, Taurus, this looks incredible. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Hmm. Everything happens for a reason. Remember that. Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. If you're not, if, if, if this beautiful energy and you're not having fun in your relationships, you really got to take a look in the mirror and ask yourself what the fuck you're doing. Because if you are struggling in any way, Taurus, you are doing this all wrong. I don't know why I had to say that, but I feel like I just, I got to belt it out. If you're not in this love energy, you better fix yourself. You know what I mean? You better open up to it because this is too good to let pass by. Make the decision. If you're single, make the decision that you are, there is somebody out there for you because you deserve it. And the universe will bring it to you when you align to it. And if you're in a relationship and as Tauruses are ungrateful, Let's come on. Let's not mince words. You want more, 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 more. Maybe this is good enough. And you need to take a look at that. This is about opening your heart, which means that you're in Scrooge or Grinch mode. You know what I mean? That serves nobody. All right, Taurus. I don't know why I had to get nasty, but I just <laughs> feel like I had to say something like that. You know, it's just. What you doing? Look at, pay attention. You're being asked to pay extra close attention to the signs you're being given, both the subtle ones and the ones you can't be missed. These signs will help you see how to best move forward in order to live your best life. Listen. Taurus, you're being asked to listen to your inner voice. It's been guiding you to do something or say something, and it's time to act on its wisdom. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Compassion. Again, open your heart. You're being asked to be kinder to yourself, to give yourself a break instead of being a taskmaster, a bully, and a horrible friend. That actually says that, folks. Be a loving comforter who always has your back. And last but not least, receive. You're being asked to open to receiving universal gifts. This could come in the form of love, money, compliments, healing energy, and universal wisdom. Know you're worthy of these gifts and open up to them, Taurus. Open up to this beautiful energy. You're all going to thank me later, I tell you right now. So you're welcome. All right, Taurus. Have a great week. Open your heart. Go and listen to Madonna. Open your heart. Open your heart. I'll make you love me. That's what you got to do, Taurus. All right, I'll talk to you next week. <laughs> Bye.